Okay, we're gonna get to the last song. Last thing, ah. Okay, last thing. For biomedical engineering. <laughs> hey guys, Wisely here. Yeah. So in the previous video, we've already talked about what the differences between MBBS and also biomedical science in University of Malaya, right? If you haven't already watched that video, make sure to click on the card at the top right corner. And yeah, I've gotten a lot of comments actually from my friends that they thought that the previous MBBS video was horrifyingly long, just like mine. We'll make it short and sweet this time since uh, a lot of the biomedical science um, information had already been discussed in, in the previous video itself. Okay, so for today's video, I've invited another one of my friends and too bad it's not a girl, right? <laughs> but yeah, he's a handsome guy right here. So hi guys, I'm Isam and I'm entering my third year biomedical engineering degree in coming semester in University of Malaya. For your information, Isan right here, we've been friends since high school and yeah, he's not just an academic, he's also a, a very very aspiring creator. He's actually the creator of this a fictional character named um, Sheep April, am I right? Yeah, Sheep April. Yeah, Sheep April. And do check out his artwork, uh, I'll link it down below. Alright, so today we'll be looking at another course called Biomedical Engineering. Yeah, and I know it sounds similar, but it's actually very, very different. And today we'll be looking into what are the differences between these two courses. Just a reminder, the information provided in this video entirely revolves around the academic structure and syllabus for University of Malaya only. In UM, University of Malaya, for biomedical engineering, it is located at Faculty of Engineering. While for biomedical science, it's located at what? Faculty of Medicine. Oh, Faculty of Medicine. Yeah. Yeah. So first, let's talk about the academic structure and syllabus. For biomedical science students, we actually learn 100% about biology and maybe a little bit about chemistry because we, have, we do have biochemistry. But um, for biomedical engineering, it's entirely different. Yeah, for biomedical engineering, it is uh, mainly physics and only a little bit of bio. Yeah. To go into detail, biomedical science students are required to learn about anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, hematology, immunology, uh, histology, parasitology, microbiology, epidemiology, biostats, and so much more. All right, but it's all bio biology related. For biomedical engineering, we will also learn about anatomy and other subjects such as uh, biochemistry, thermodynamics, statics mechanics uh, and basic prosthetic and orthotics as you can see biomedical engineering actually focuses a lot on physics itself and not biology that's why it's under the faculty of engineering right so for biomedical engineering we will have physics related lab and biochemistry related lab for our information uh, we won't carry out experiment related to lab animals for us biomedical science students since most of the time we are actually carrying out experiments on biology itself um, we do have to carry out experiments on lab animals such as um, white mice rodents rabbits and whatnot just for information both of these courses actually follow the semester timetable um, provided by the university so we, we will have our semester breaks and also we will have final examinations at the end of the semester and yeah the examinations for both of us biomedical science students and also biomedical engineering students are also either assignment based or examination based for internships um, us biomedical science students as i have mentioned in the previous video we will have our postings after our second year and during the special semester for biomedical engineering uh, we will have our internship uh, after third year. Biomedical science degree programs in University of Malaya, on the other hand, is accredited by the IBMS, but it's actually more significant in UK as um, this IBMS portfolio must be is required to actually um, find a job in the UK. But for us Malaysians, if you want to find a job in Malaysia, yeah, it's actually not that significant. For biomedical engineering, we are required to graduate from EAC accredited program to become a licensed professional engineer. This means that all engineering program credited by EAC will be recognized in all signatory countries such as uh, US, Japan, Canada, and Australia. And now for the most interesting part, job prospects, all right? Um, 
for biomedical science, uh, well, I'm not, I will not touch too much about it since I've already explained in the previous video. Uh, basically, we could um, further study into masters and PhD and either end up being a researcher or lecturer, or you could go straight, in, straight into work um, in so many different fields. So remember to watch the previous video. For biomedical engineering, we can also further study into PhD to become a researcher. Other than becoming a researcher, we can also be a clinical engineer, healthcare IT, and also product design engineer and rehabilitation engineer which require 3D modeling skill and lastly you can be a sales engineer yeah. you know marketing basically for biomedical engineering students since they are under faculty of engineering they actually have the luxury and also opportunity to go into all of all of this um, different kinds of engineering um, careers if you are comparing which course is easier, actually you are comparing an apple with an orange. We can't give you a definite answer because both of these courses actually focuses on different aspects. If you go into biomedical engineering, you could see yourself becoming an engineer working closely in healthcare facilities, but not just in that particular field. But for biomedical science, it's mainly for you to build a base um, for specific interests for you to further study into. Well, those of course are our own personal opinions. Um, others might differ from, differ from us. Um, so keep an open mind. If you are asking if biomedical science degree can further study into biomedical engineering, actually it is possible. But you will have to further research into which university to offer it. Uh, for your information, University of Malaya do not offer it. Yeah, because for UM, it's required for you to um, actually have a degree in engineering for you to further studies into, you know, masters and PhD for biomedical science, biomedical engineering. So yeah, to end things, yeah, um, like I mentioned in the previous video, um, you have to be clear and conscious about what are your interests are, what are you passionate about. If you know that you're interested in physics related courses, and might want to end up working in a healthcare related facility yeah biomedical engineering would be a good choice and yeah so that's all for today's video i hope you liked it um, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to go check out esam's profile i'll link it down below so yeah see you guys next time bye Okay. Yeah, he's the creator of this fictional character named Sheep April. Sorry. <laughs> if you go into biomedical engineering, you could see yourself becoming an engineer. Oh my god. If you're looking for a cute boyfriend who is great in academics, who could play sports, who is... <laughs> Right, um, he's currently recovering from um, an injury, so he's not playing sports right now. <laughs> and he, he could also get draw and animate, so if you were trying to find this kind of boyfriend, go check out his Instagram.